Hi guys. Well, as you can see, today we have uh, Mrs. Anderson helping out in the lab while I'm gone. So I've created this little video to help her and to help you. And um, well, I'm going to give you some steps. We're starting a new project and it's all about weather and the different instruments that you use to monitor weather. Your teachers have set some guidelines, which we will get into, um, of the, what's going to be on your Google slide presentation. Okay, so first of all, you need to go to our Google Classroom accounts and log in there. I'm going to just log in so that I can look like a student. We're going to Walker North Computer Lab, and you're going to see your assignment. Um, before we can begin, I'm just going to quickly read through the instructions. So this is weather and instruments. We're going to use the slide presentation. So below are three links. The first one is the link to your slide. Um, you can use the Explore button to research different weather instruments and also cloud types. The middle link is a slideshow that you must watch first. And Mrs. Anderson is going to play that on the screen for you. The last link is a list of a list of instructions and links to sites that you can use in your research. Okay, um, you need to be sure to copy the URL of the resources that you use. The URL is this address bar up here at the top, and put it on your slides. Okay. The things that you're going to need on your slide, you're going to have to talk about barometer and air pressure, wind vane, um, and the direction that the wind blows, a nanometer that monitors wind speed, rain gauge, a collection of water, rainwater measured, and the cloud types. Okay, so we're going to click open. That's going to open your assignment. And I put the link to your individual Google Slides. So if you click on that, um, it's going to bring up your slideshow. And I don't think you guys have used this much this year, but I know you have in the past. Last year you did, and you did a great job. If you have this little pop-up, just say no thanks. So remember, to add a new slide, you're just clicking this plus button. I like to use the drop-down arrow next to it because I like to work with a blank slide. So. You're going to use like five or six or seven slides. Your first one's going to be the title slide, and your last one, that's the one I want to talk about, the last one, and you can go over here to layout and just add your title. That one's going to be your sources. Okay, this is where you're going to paste all your URLs, all your the sites that you visited. Your first one's going to be your title slide. So maybe you want to title it The Wonderful World of Weather or whatever. The Wacky World of Weather, World, you know, Weather. Your name. Okay, remember on a slide you can change your background. You can add a picture. You can change, use a theme over here on the side. I'm not going to change the theme because they're hard to change back if you don't want to. Okay, um, I want to show you though how, so I use this picture about weather, right? Let's see if I can get back to it. Okay, this one. Down here at the bottom, you see this link? That's the site that this um, image came from. That I did not take that picture, and so I have to give credit where credit is due, or it's like stealing the picture. So I'm going to click on this um, link. It's going to open up a page. I'm going to click up here in the address bar and just click, and then it turns blue. Then I can copy it. Remember to copy, I use Command C. Okay, Command C. I click back to my slide. And I'm going to go back here to my sources page. And I'm just going to paste. How do I paste? Command V, like in Victor. 
okay? Your text box, just spread them out and make them fit the words, okay? So there's that. I can even say, um, I used this image as my title page. Whoa. Background. Okay. So that's, I, I gave credit where credit's due. Let's go to slide two. I'm going to insert a new, another image. Let's just say uh, barometer. Okay, I pick a picture of a barometer. Remember, down here, I click the link. It opens in a new page. I copy that link, Command C. I go back to my Google slide, say select. It puts the picture on, which I can resize and all that jazz. Okay, when I've got the blue frame around it, up here at the top in your little toolbar, there's a link. It looks like a chain link. It says insert link when you pan over it. You click that. It's going to open up down here, and then I paste that that URL in there. How do I paste? Command V, and then I hit apply. So now, if somebody's looking at my slideshow and they say, I wonder where she got that picture, they can click the picture and it'll show the link. All right? So that's how we give credit um, to whose picture it is. The other thing... Um, you can use on the Google Sites. Let's close this theme out. And then down here at the bottom, I need to make my screen a little bigger because you won't see it. Maybe I can't. Ah. Okay, down here in the very bottom corner, it says Explore. You probably can't see it on my screen, but hopefully you will on your own. Oh, there we go. Okay, explore. And my picture's over that, so darn it. Well, kids, you see explore. I'll see explore. Okay, it's down here, it says explore. I click it, it opens up this on the side. So maybe I want to type in weather, instruments okay it's going to bring up a whole bunch of sites that i can go look at this one weather instruments for kids and there's some information right so if i used any of the information on this website what do i need to do i need to go to the top my screen up command c click make it blue command c Go back to my last page and Command B. I'm pasting it because I'm going to use some information about where was that? About the thermometer and how it's used. Okay, and if I copy and paste this, I need to make sure that I give. Um, I say where I got the information from. Um, but better than copying and pasting it is to look at it, reword it into your own into your own words, okay? You know, you're going to have to use some of the ideas because maybe a lot of you don't understand that it contains liquids such as alcohol and mercury, which I don't know that I did either. So you're using some of this information, but make sure you uh, give them you give them credit. Okay, good luck. Be good to Mrs. Anderson. She has uh, permission to send anyone out if they need to be. You guys are silently working and I'm excited to see what you're going to do, what you've done when I get back.